Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing Legacy Challenge and we're also going to be announcing the giveaway winner. I'm so excited to see who won. I hope you guys are excited too. Once again, so sorry for the lack of uploads. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know that I was really sick over the weekend. I was okay like Friday and Saturday, like the first half of Saturday, but once Saturday night hit, I was done. Like I could not do anything. I could barely talk. I could barely walk. I was dead, but I made sure to rest. I'm feeling better today, um, well enough to film this video, so I'm very excited. I miss you guys so much. And while I was sick, we hit 11K. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm just I'm just so excited you guys you don't even know I'm I'm just very happy and that's all because of you so yeah uh, let's get on with the giveaway winner I'm actually gonna do it live I'm gonna pick the winner live I guess it's not really live because I'm like recording myself and you guys are gonna watch it later but you guys are gonna be able to see which I think is pretty cool <laughs> so Let's hop into my computer then. Okay, so I hosted a giveaway on this website. I hope you guys liked it this way and it was a little bit different than like commenting on the video and all that stuff, but this is just so much easier for me, especially because like so many of you guys enter the giveaway now. It um, just randomly generates a name for me. So yeah, let's pick a winner. I'm so excited. If you guys subscribe to my channel, obviously you got a entry. If you uh, followed me on Twitter, you got an extra entry. It wasn't mandatory, but you got an extra entry, which increases your chances. So yeah, let's get this show on the road. Good luck to you guys. Here we go. All right, the winner is Lauren Weatherby. Congratulations, Lauren. Congratulations again, Lauren. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing and all that jazz. I'm gonna email you right now so we can go over the um, the logistics. <laughs> so yeah, congratulations. If you guys didn't win, just stay tuned on my channel. I'll be doing a lot more random giveaways. You just gotta watch my videos, pay attention because they are gonna be random. I think it's fun doing it that way, kind of like a little surprise. So yeah, today's video, we're gonna be doing Legacy Challenge. Uh, I've been really nervous to film this video and I don't know why, probably because like there are so many of you guys who want it to end one way and then another more of you guys who want it to end a different way. <sighs> it's just tricky to make everyone happy, but I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and if you guys don't like it, Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on to this episode. Oh my gosh. It feels so good to be back. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now. I haven't played Sims in forever. Okay. So, ooh, Oliver met the Franks and Beans chick. <laughs> anyway, here we are back in the house. It looks like everyone is at work. Where's Max? Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. He's visiting a doctor. Oh, so many things. Okay, so I added a bunch of mods to my game because I just, I wanted something different. Um, oh my gosh, look at the quality of these apple trees. Magnificent. What the heck? I have never, ever, ever, ever in my life seen that before. Holy crap, you guys. All of these trees are excellent, magnificent, nice. Our garden is killing it. I'm stoked right now. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I added mods. I added Command Center. I added Slice of Life because of the updates. I added Personality Please. I've never played with that one before, so I'm excited to see what that's about. I added Risky Woohoo, just for a little more spice. <laughs> Y'all know I love spicy. Um, what else did I add? Hmm. I added longer parties. I added the like maximum occupant thing for parties so I can invite however many people I want. Um, yeah, so hopefully it um, spices up the game a little bit. Poor Max. Oh crap, the thermostat. Ugh. Um, 
I didn't even see you come home. How are you sweltering? You're still at the doctor, though. I'm confused. Let's just turn it off. Anyway, what's this? Lemonade made by Fallon McLean. That looks fire on this hot day. When did it become summer? I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, look at all the weeds. Holy crap. Okay, um, wow. Zara, how are you sick? You are a vampire. Like, that makes no sense. So another thing that I did, oh, thank you, Patchy. You're a lifesaver. I aged up all of Oliver's and Olive's friends. So I aged them up and gave them all makeovers. <laughs> One of you guys said you don't understand why I give everyone a makeover who comes into the game and like why everyone has to be beautiful. That's just how I like to play my game. I, if someone is in one of my challenges, they are getting a makeover. And it's like one of my favorite parts of the game. So it kind of bums me out that you don't like it, but it's all good. So here's Orange. I gave him a makeover. I gave this Christy girl a makeover. Um, here's Simone, Tane, Zach, and I think that's it. Those were all of the um, kids that they met in school. So yeah, gave them all makeovers. They're all teens now. Zara, my dear. Oh good, it's cloudy. I was gonna say, you're gonna die out here. Look, you're looking buff, girl, I have to say. All right, Max, what are you doing? Needs amusement, cozy fire, nicely decorated. Okay, I, I think probably going to the doctor helped you. Girl. Are you dancing while you're dazed? What the heck are you doing? Dance with mannequin? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so funny. What the heck? Okay. I'll leave you to that. That is funky. Whatever, girl. Your days, I get it. <laughs> that is so funny. Oliver returned home with a school project. Okay, they both have school projects. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I was thinking for um, Olive, I think, holy crap, look at all these. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. Let's let's just unpack this really quick. Moody from Menstrual Cycle. Big Appetite from Menstrual Cycle. Mountain of Homework. Cramping. Stompy Flu. Tired. Medicated. First Period. What the heck is this? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I thought... I have no idea how this ris risky woohoo works, so this freaked me out. But it just says she's temporary temporary infertility, so she can't have um, babies right now because she's on her period. Dude, our garden is looking rough. Where the frick is Ren? Okay, Ren, enough. Enough. Enough with that. Can you please come and supercell everything over here and then um, tend the garden? Please, 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 please. I know your days, but like this needs work. It needs work. Oh my gosh, it's a it's a weird, weird weathery day today. It's like hot but cloudy. Another thing that I wanted to do was make like a little party area where we can have the bar, the hot tub, music, the bon a bonfire pit. Um, just a place where people can hang out. I kind of want to put it right here. Okay, so yeah, something like this. Um, that's like a little bit raised and you just, just a place to hang, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, kind of what I had in mind. Okay, so yeah. Now they have a little place to throw parties because that is something that, oh, you poor thing. That is something that... Uh, let's do menstrual relief. Um, that is something that you need to do in the legacy challenge. Speaking of that, I wanted to go over 
what we have so far. This is why I hate Slice of Life, because you can't win. You're always sick. You always have acne. You're always embarrassed from the acne. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. So there are, I have been neglecting the challenge stuff for a while. I've just been focusing on like relationships and stuff like that. Let me just remind you guys what we need. So we need a point per generation. So there have been three generations so far. Oh no, the point is gained when the current heir reaches adulthood. So once Olive is a young adult, we get another point for that. Um, let's see. This challenge ends, by the way, once the 10th generation child is born. Do you want to hang out tonight? Ancient ruins. Why do teens always want to go to the ancient ruins? <laughs> we might do that. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I realized that we forgot to memorial memorialize Savannah and Carlos. They must be memorialized per generation. So we have to do that. Uh, let's see. We've reached two hundred thousand dollars, so we get three points for that. If we <laughs> if we reach five million seven hundred thousand, we get ten points. So that is the goal. Uh, let's see here. For every three unique traits the primary spouse brings, you get a point. So we have goofball, dog lover, cheerful cat lover, and geek so far. Um, if you max out skills, you get a point. Um, ba, 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 da. What else? What else? What else? If you every for every four aspirations completed, you get a point. I don't think we've completed any aspirations yet, which is pretty bad. We need to work on that. Uh, the collections, you guys know about that. I focused on that pretty heavily. We still need an angry painting. <laughs> Uh, the food category is a fun one. So we need to purchase the most expensive fridge and stove and fully upgrade them both. We haven't upgraded them yet, but we do have the most expensive one, so that's good. Have a sim make a highest quality version of baked Alaska, the most difficult to make dish. One point. Have a single sim max the cooking, baking, gourmet cooking, and mixology skills. All, all the same sim. Have Sims complete both food aspirations in a single generation. They can be done by two different Sims. Have a Sim get fat from your family's cooking. <laughs> have at least six Sims all sitting at the table eating at the same time. That's definitely something that we could do. Reach the top of both food career branches. Cook a meal with at least two fresh ingredients that are of the highest quality. Have a Sim make their date a max quality meal or mix a max quality drink during a single date. Serve a max quality party size meal. Mix a max quality drink and serve both during a single party. Ah! We also need to be throwing parties. So, and we need to get medals. So if you get a gold medal, you get three points. Silver medal, two points. Bronze medal, one point. So if you get 81 medal points, you get nine points at the end. So we need to throw more parties. We need to tent... 20 potions of youth. I thought it was 10. It's 20. Yeah, there's like a lot that we need to be focusing on, which I am completely ignoring. But it's all good. We're only on the third generation. We got seven more to go. <laughs> okay, should we hang out? Sure, yeah, let's hang out. Let's see who's there. Um, my head's starting to hurt. Wow. Really? Okay, so just him and Tane. Oh, 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 okay. It's partying with club friends, so it looks like Simone's here. I'll show you guys. This is Tane. <laughs> Zam boom. <laughs> nice introduction there. This one is Simone. Nice and tense. This one, he's my favorite. This is Zach Singer. Hey, come back. Zach! Zach! Yeah, that's Zach. 
who else is here? Oh, are they playing a water balloon fight? Aw, that's so sweet and wholesome. Come on, Simone, get off your phone. Are you seriously sick? I'm so annoyed by this. <laughs> Zach's traits, do we know them yet? We don't. We don't even know Simone's traits. We don't know Tane's traits. This is funky. I thought... Why isn't Olive with them? Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, only Zach is in Oliver's club. These are all Olive's friends. Oh my god, she looks awful. Ugh. Why are you hitting yourself in the head? Do you have issues? It looks like these two are just getting to know each other a little bit. He's independent? Wow. Very cool. Where did everyone else go? Did they leave? Why would they leave like that? This place is so boring, unless you have like a big group and you like light this bonfire. Like, what is the point of this place? Oh, there's Tane. Okay, they're having another water balloon fight. There's Simone. Oh wait, who's this over here? This is, um, orange. Yeah. Dang, look at that chest. What the heck? Oh no, this isn't orange. This is... Dawson Glover. He's a teen. Hmm. Giant chest. <laughs> All right. Water balloon fight going on. All teens do is go on their phone, take pictures of each other, or take selfies, and stand there. Oliver's sick. He probably shouldn't be having a water balloon fight. <laughs> oh, okay. Zach's off. He's gonna go have a run. Okay. Well, ooh, pretty. Very pretty. Oliver's like, can you guys, like, get off your phone? I'm trying to have fun. Ugh. I hate it when people are obsessed with their phones. I'm gonna go... Have a nap. No, you're not. No, you're not. We're gonna end this early and we're gonna head home. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna have him head to the get treated at hospital. And then I also want you to get vaccinated. Olive, how are you feeling, love? How's your mood? You just got low fun, but other than that. Okay, you are sick. And end of the world from cold. Okay. This sucks. It looks like Patchy weeded this entire area. And these plants died over here. I'm just gonna get her to revive them. I wonder if she'll get sick if she goes over by these over here. Since they're the gar garlic plants. She seems fine. Oh, yeah. Can't drink another bite from being near garlic. Yeah, she can't be that close to it. Okay, so... Let's talk about Zara and April. Um, so what I was thinking is I think that Zara and Max should break up and <laughs> this is just what I feel like would be the best option and the most realistic. I think they should break up, and but I don't think we should move Zara out. I think that they should agree to co-parent or quote unquote stay together for the kids, but not really be together, just be uh, friends. Um, and then I think that 
Max Jr. should... I'm sorry, my head is really hurting right now. I can't like form complete sentences. I think that Max Jr. should be here for the weekends. And April will have him during the week. And yeah, I don't think Max should be with anybody. I don't think that he's capable of being in a adult relationship. He obviously can't be with one person and be happy. So yeah, he's going to be single. It's hot. So yeah, he's going to stay single. And Zara is also going to be single. And so is April. Um, they're just going to live their lives for their kids. And not everyone ends up with someone in their life. Not everyone is married. Not everyone um, is in a relationship their whole life. Like, it's just realistic. And... With everything that happened, I really don't think that Zara and Max would stay together. If I was if I was Zara, definitely not. Like I would not. I would not deal with that. Max has always been so crappy since the beginning. So, yeah, that is what I think I'm going to do. So I don't know. I think I do want to have Max Jr. on the weekends. But if you guys think that we should have him during the week so that we can see more of him. Let me know in the comments and I would be happy to have him during the week as well or instead of the weekend. So yeah, it looks like this needs to be filled. I'm gonna get Ren to fill it. And then also, how are your skills going? Fitness is good. Pipe organs good. How's your mood? You're pretty thirsty. Why don't you have a plasma pack and then come on over here and practice your pipe organ. Um, it's nice and rainy outside. It's very, very spooky if you play pipe <laughs> the pipe organ right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone else is sleeping. I'm honestly shook that they're sleeping. Like, they never sleep at a decent hour. They're always up at 3 a.m. So I'm, I'm really stoked that everyone's sleeping right now. Get it, girl. Maybe she can write a song for Savannah. Those who fear the rising sun. Sure, why not? Go ahead, write a song. Oh my god, why do we have another hip to the max cardboard dance floor? I don't get it. Where do we get those? Who's up? Who is up? This is Oliver. Oh no, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Oliver, why don't you get up, go to the bathroom, and then... Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Why can't we find out what's wrong? Just scratch his favorite spot. <laughs> she kicked him out. Come on, use the bathroom, go pay attention to Moose a little bit, and then take a shower. I think I'm going to take Slice of Life out. It's too much. There's too much crap. Like, I know being on your period is, like, absolutely miserable, but, like, this is just a lot. She's constantly miserable. Poop! Yay. Okay, why are you still in the red? You went to the bathroom. You got some love. He seems fine to me. Is it? Yeah, it's a he. Okay. All right. What are you doing? How is your handiness skill? Not good at all. <laughs> uh, can we upgrade like with handiness skill level one? Let's see. Level five, level seven. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to have to have a sim that like focuses on being handy because wow, that's going to take forever to get there. Okay. What the heck? You're cramping and you have a flu. Okay. All right. I'm going to get you to get treated at the hospital and then also... You got vaccinated already? Ugh. This mod. This mod. So once Zara gets up, do you have work today actually? You have work in three hours. Okay. Maybe when uh, maybe when she gets home from work today, we'll let her we'll uh, tell her about everything that's been going on. 
I really don't know how I want to do it. I'm probably just going to... Oh, what did they just do? Okay, everyone is sick. I was thinking as a storyline for Zara, maybe she can be like a famous hacker. I've never done that before. Ooh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We really need to pay our bills. Who can do that for us? Oh my god, this stupid mouse. I hate this mouse. Do you see? All right, I just got Max to pay the bills. It looks like he's back from the hospital. He doesn't have his uh, sickness symptoms anymore. He's pretty hungry. Why don't you eat these garlic noodles you made earlier? They are poor quality. Let's just actually throw those away. <laughs> eat those cheese crackers. You guys study hard. Zara's still at the hospital and she's late for work. She's over here still writing that song, but she's almost done. Who's this? Who is this? This is our maid. Did she or our gardener, I mean? Did she get struck by lightning? Oh, you poor thing. Good thing you're not dead. We need you. How cute would it be if our gardener and Patchy got together? Okay, I'm gonna get her to take some menstrual relief symptom medicine. Did you finish your song? I'm starving. Wanna grab lunch? Tegan, what the heck? That's so random. Resume your song. You're almost done. Oh no, he slipped in a mud puddle at work. <gasps> That's so sad. Name your new song. Yay. What do you want to name it? Um, this is going to be... This was the memorial, the memorial song for Savannah. So... Let's just call it For Savannah. Okay, cool. She wrote a song. Ren just completed a song. She can send the song off for licensing at the mailbox to earn a little extra cash. God, this mouse. It's so frustrating playing with the mouse that lags so much. You guys have no idea. What is this? Resume white cake. Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, what? Patchy! You're my hero! What the heck, though? What it. What was it that did that? That was weird. I've never seen that happen in The Sims before. Have you guys? Was it the ceiling lamps? Let me see. I think it was this light. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize those lights doubled as um, sprinklers. Oh my god, this mouse. Oh my gosh, $13,000 for this stupid <sighs> stove. Okay. And Patchy's just here eating this poor quality white cake. Ren, you don't eat human food. Why would you eat a poor quality piece of cake out of all things? Stop. <laughs> I need you to do the plants, please. Because we need the money now that we had to buy a $13,000 stove. Turn on this light. Pretty. Set color and intensity. Ooh. 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 I like the blue, I think. Or the pink. Oh, so cool. Okay, Zara's home. What is she gonna do? Feed the fish? You do that. You feed those fish. How are your skills going anyway? How's your programming? Level five. Is there something that she can do on the computer that... Ew. That gives her fame for her programming? Let's see. Uh, 
There isn't. What? I thought there was something that you could do. Make a virus. That's not what I told you to do. Oh no, 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 no. Zara has a fever. Okay, I'm definitely... Is there a, a, like a way to take out the sickness part of Slice of Life? Because this is just ridiculous. What's Ren making? Baking a cake from Sweet Cravings. Girl, you don't eat food. You guys, look at how the balcony or the little thing looks with the lights. Isn't that cool? Patchy. My dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Aww. Poor guy. Not really sure what he's going through, but it looks rough. Alright, it looks like Olive did her homework and she's super tired, so I'm going to send her off to sleep. What are you up to, Oliver? Play Blick Block? Okay, yeah, you do need some fun. What skills do we want to do for you? Like, you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you want to go on two dates. Who should he date? Should he date Jules or should she be... Should he date Jules or, Tra Jules or Tracy? He knows a lot about Jules already. They've known each other since they were kids. Hmm. Actually, he doesn't know much about her. And he's got school in a few hours. Oh, and he broke the computer. Cool. Get it, Silas. Run off that anger. Do you really you really have to buy menstrual products every couple hours for five dollars? No joke. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take out the Slice of Life mod. I'll be right back. All right, so I took out, I didn't take out Slice of Life. I just took out the sickness stuff and I took out the period stuff. So we'll see if it's any better because it got a little hectic there for a minute. Like everyone was just in a terrible mood. Max, what the heck? Resume that pasta primavera. If you're gonna make it, commit to it. Everyone is just cooking up a storm in this house. <laughs> Get it? Because there's a storm going on. Okay, she, yeah, she's at school and you need fun. So why don't you just make some friends? How are you? You're tense from the storm. Uncomfortable because you're tired. Ren is still asleep in her coffin. Oh my gosh, okay. You can probably get up now. Come over here and supercell everything. Play haunting music. Can you send that song out yet? What the heck, why can't you? I'm really confused about where it went. Can you play it? Yeah, it's right here. That's weird. That is quite haunting, not gonna lie. Hey! Buzz off! I know you hear the haunting music, but... Wait, is it... What the heck? It's attracting people over here. It's making them angry. Who is this? Oh god. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was hilarious. Since Max is happy and has nothing to do, why don't you come practice your speech? Um, let's psych self up first and then practice speech. <gasps> I really want him to max out his charisma skill. I think it kind of goes with him like being a player because like... What? This is weird. One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? No? That's strange. Why would you want to give someone else my number? April, you're strange. You are very strange. You always have been. So yeah, I think that him maxing out his charisma skill kind of goes with his like player ways because he can talk people into doing things and he can turn on the charm and, um, you know, just like get people to like him, I guess. 
You know what? We should invite Lilith over so that... Will she come over right now? Because it's 3 p.m.? Let's find out. Yay, she'll be right over. Yay. Oh, and you guys are back. Okay. Um, um, um... <laughs> so much going on okay let's um what can we do like for vampire stuff detect personality i want them she needs to be in a better emotional state okay well, let's just ask her about her day then who's calling olive want to study with the group today sure <laughs> not really sure what that means I think actually this happened with Ren, and this is how she met Kengo. Well, she got invited to like a study group. Okay, so this is Christine, one of her friends from school. Okay, this is Orange. Why are you... This is such a strange episode. Okay, who's in here crying? Who is this? Kayla Fleming. She is not in a good mood. I don't know who lives here. Like, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna let Olive do her thing, hang out with her friends there. Cause I'm not really sure what was going on. <laughs> so strange, those little study group things. It just like throws you on a random lot. Unless someone lives there, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure all of the teenagers have parents and stuff. What are you doing? You're playing chess. Can you do your homework? And then you should probably do the school project as well because I think you're like a C student and that's not good. Let's just pop that right there. Do your homework and then start working carefully on that. Max and Zara are currently here, but Zara is like exhausted. There's never a good time to tell her. Like, no, just go upstairs and sleep. When is it going to stop storming? And what, whose birthday is next? Okay, tomorrow's going to be sunny. We don't have a birthday for a while. And it's going to be Oliver's birthday. Ooh, but we got Halloween. We got Air Day. Talk like a pirate day. Can we delete that? Cool. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Ren, why don't you come over here and help him? Hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for dinner? What? Very interesting. I'm intrigued. Are you guys intrigued? Oh my gosh, I never even like considered this or did I? I don't know, but I like it. I really like it. Maybe Alex since he died, he he's like really afraid of dying. Oh look, friend, she's in her pretty oh, outfit. Maybe, maybe since Alex died, he's like really scared of dying again, and that's like all he could think about. So maybe he wants Ren to turn him, or maybe he's just like really like intrigued and attracted to Ren because she's immortal I don't know I kind of like I know that a, a lot of you guys wanted Ren to have a girlfriend but this just makes sense doesn't it I don't know we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes um let's just get to know him a little bit uh tell him a funny story Hopefully they autonomously like do something cute because that would be so funny. It's so funny how like I feel so proud of Ren even though she's not even my daughter in real life. I feel proud of her. <laughs> silly. How silly is that? Go get your table. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very 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 romantic okay i'm gonna get her to just ask about his day and we'll see how it goes from here oh 
Wow. Oh. What did she just do? Telling gauging story. I think she just complimented him. She wants to hug someone from being happy. Oh. oh, they just became good friends. Ren has a pristine reputation. Why is Lilith here? Oh my god, she's the waitress. Alright, so for Ren, I'm gonna get her... I'm gonna get her a cosmopolitan. And then for... um. Alex, I'm gonna get him whatever this is. This super expensive wine. <laughs> and then Ren doesn't eat food, but you can, we've seen her. She likes to eat it though, just because of the taste, but she doesn't need to. I wonder if it'll make her sick though. Let's get her the chef's choice. And then let's get Alex. John. Sizzle brisket over sour clover salad. $109. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at the way he's looking at her while she's doing her vampire stuff. This is just crazy to me. And look at Lilla. She's so proud. She's so proud of her, her um, vampire daughter. Oh, by the way, I changed his eyes. I made half of his eyes white. Can you guys tell? Because when he froze to death. His eyes got all messed up. Oh no, she smells. Oh no. What was that? What is she? Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go to the bathroom. We gotta get you to wash your hands a bunch of times. Aww. Oh my gosh. What was that from? I want them to do something romantic on their own. Oh. That was a compliment. Uh oh. Hey, I took out the sickness thing. Why is it still there? Ren seems to have had few many to. Wait. Ren seems to have had it. Ren. What? It doesn't make any sense. Ren seems to had a few too many drinks. Okay. Look at their relationship is almost fully, fully full. Let's compliment his appearance. Oh, now he's very flirty. Okay, let's see what happens. Mmm. Sad drunk? No! Oh my gosh, she's gonna throw up. Aww. This is not going well. I'm gonna get her to throw up. She's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Neither of them are eating. <laughs> Oof. Poor thing. She's like, um, is everything okay? Why aren't you guys eating your food? Here it goes. We're fine. Go away. <laughs> She's like, do you like dogs? I love dogs. I could talk about dogs all day. Okay, he likes her, but he's feeling really sick right now. They both are. All right, I'm gonna end this meal and pay the bill. It's five in the morning. Oh, they did eat. That was weird. All right, time to go. That was really random, but I liked it. Let me know what you guys think about that. What the? You good? 
Lack of sleep. You have full energy, though. Do something fun. Oh no, Oliver's not responsible anymore. You know, I could see that happening, definitely. Okay, Zara's here and she's flirty and Max is here too, okay. So, okay, I'm gonna get him to sit out here. I'm gonna get Zara to sit here too. Okay, aww. This is sad. All right, so we're going to get Max to, I haven't thought about this at all. Okay, oh my gosh. Listen, Zara, there's something I have to tell you. I had a baby with April. It was around the time Silas died and it just happened. It was a mistake and she ended up getting pregnant and we have a baby boy now. And he seems to give her no sympathy. Like, look, he's getting mad at her when she should be the one getting mad at him. This is sad. This is sad. She's like, well, what are we supposed to do with the kids then? Oh my gosh, yeah. What? It looks like she won the argument. <laughs> I know this is not as dramatic as you guys wanted it, but yeah, so he told her, finally, she, why are you feeling flirty? I'm so confused. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation, but she's feeling flirty. Oh, and she... That is a very interesting thing to do after finding out that your baby daddy had a baby with someone else. Ren, get out! Maybe she feels empowered. Maybe she's like, this is the moment that I've actually been waiting for. Maybe she felt like she didn't really have a purpose in life, but now, I don't know. Maybe this changes everything for her. She seems okay, which is kind of what I was hoping. Max feels okay too. Uh, he lost the argument, obviously, because he's the one who messed up, but, um, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna get him to ask her to just be friends. Um, let's see. Ask to just be friends. Hopefully she's not too heartbroken. Remember what April did when we did that? Let's see if the same thing happens, or if she takes it differently. Oh, she looks so cute. I love this outfit. Our grief. <laughs> Dorna. She's like, okay, whatever. Uh oh. Oh, okay, now she's flirty. What the heck? What is going on? Oh. Stop! What? She's crazy. Oh my god, their relationship is so weird. I don't even know what to- I don't even know where to begin. Satisfied. Okay, now- ah! What the heck, guys? I'm- just, Okay, go to work. Go to work. She- This is the happiest I've seen her in so long. Like, look at that walk. Now she's angry again. I'm just, I am just, and Max is perfectly happy. He doesn't seem to care. Did I not tell them to just be friends? I'm really confused. Soulmates? He's soulmates with April and she's a stay at home mom as her career. I didn't do that. Maybe we should go visit her. <laughs> I'm just, this 
game? I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That was really weird. It's like, it's almost as if like, they have been s far apart for a while now that me doing all that didn't even do anything. Like they were just like, she was just stoked that she won the argument. And then she was like bothered for a minute that he wanted to just be friends, but then she was flirty again. Like, I don't know, I'm so confused, okay. Go ahead and talk to your son for a little bit. Spend some time with him. Max and Max Jr. What's up, little dude? Something's going on with their arms. What's up, April? Alright. Next thing we need to do, after he's done with that, I want him to come out here. Say what's up to her. Soulmates, though? <sighs> Guys, I don't know. Maybe he can still be with her. Cute. This is all so cute. I don't know. Aww. Aww, look. <laughs> I don't know, I just get like, I don't know. I do like April a lot. She seems like a more natural mom than Zara does, but I like Zara because she's like, she's always been so independent and like boss, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I don't know. It's, we're definitely gonna keep Zara in the household. They're just gonna co-parent. I do like the idea of Max and April together, to be honest, but I don't know. I'm not gonna like actively pursue it. I'm just gonna let it let it be and we'll see what happens. Okay, um, let's get him to work hard now. Zara is fine. I'm gonna get her to um, socialize with coworkers. Maybe she can meet some new people and make some friends. Ren, what the heck are you doing? Why does the principal keep calling her? Oh my gosh, she's got poor... Oh my gosh, what the heck happened? She needs to do her project and her homework. She needs to get her grades up. She's supposed to be this perfect student. I'm very confused why she's not. Ooh, Zara met someone at work. Who did you meet? Dirk. Oh my gosh, she's a celebrity. Like, how awesome would that be if she got with a celebrity? Okay, so it's Thursday, so we're gonna play one more day, and then on Friday, I think we're gonna throw a big party. Oh. A costume party in summer. I don't think so, because our energy is super, super low. And we're at work, <laughs> so we wouldn't be able to come anyway. But I think tomorrow we're going to have a party and invite everyone we know. Hello, Ren. I'm throwing a charity benefit. Will you come? Uh, nah, I think we'll just invite everyone over tomorrow. Ren is sleeping anyways. So I just want to make sure everyone's in a good mood. It's a programming project too! Aw, that's so appropriate. Alright, cool. Okay, so does Oliver and Zara have work today? Zara has work until five, that's fine. You can go to work. What about you, Max? I know you work late. You have work in three days. Okay, so you can be the one that plans the party. Let's just do a house party. Let's make it gold. Um, we'll do all of y'all as hosts. Why are you so flirty up in here? Huh? Max is flirty too. Why are they both so flirty? What am I doing? Stop, Savannah. Stop! <laughs> I 
Luke at Floof? <laughs> yes. Rina. X and O Z. Wasusa. He's in a row. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gosha. The Bishi Slekum. Can Kuya. An affair with the gardener. You know what? It's not even an affair anymore because he's not with anyone. He's single. They were both flirty for some reason. I think he was watching romantic TV. Yeah, and she walked in the room. Confess attraction. Let's see what she does. He's probably always seen her around. Look at her cute little choker. She's like, no way. I've always thought that about you too. But you've always had all kinds of girls around. I never thought you noticed me. Well, that was fun. Oh my gosh, look, he's going to self woohoo instead of woohoo with her. Very interesting. I guess their relationship isn't high enough yet. Well, at least he's gonna get it out of his system. What's Ren doing? Talk to Moose, how cute. All right, let's start. It's time for the party. Um, Olive is just gonna give herself a pep talk to get her through this mood swing she's having. I'm gonna get her to change outfits into, let's see. Um, it's hot outside. Hmm, let's get her in her yellow dress. Which yellow dress, am I right? She has so many. <laughs> All right, and then she can start a gathering. I'm gonna get Oliver to also start a gathering. Oh my gosh, you're still mortified. Give yourself another pep talk, because wow. I think everyone in your club, Max, was already invited. Ren, you can go ahead and start a gathering as well. What the heck is this? Oh my god, this is from The Sims 1. Isn't it? Why don't you get in the hot tub with uh, Jules? Oh, poor Olives are getting in bed. Why? Are you tired? Okay, we'll get your energy up a little bit. Oh, April came to play. Dang. Okay, where's the kid? Okay, here we go. Zara. Oh my gosh, you are so freaking tired. Okay, that's fine. What's Ren doing? Why are you cooking? And Why did you bake a cake? That's so random. All right, host, host, socialize with guests. Okay, this is so funny. They're all just dancing to Sims music. Oh no, he's hysterical. Uh oh. Okay, you need to calm down. Please don't die. Oh my gosh, this music is giving me major nostalgia. Oh, cute lighting. Look, Ren and Tracy. Tracy loves the hot tub. Oliver and Zach get along a lot. They like talk all the time. I think that's cool. I think he found him himself a best friend. All right, everyone's got their drinks. This is cute. Where's the toddler? Okay, Zara, I know you're exhausted, but I'm gonna need you to... I wish she could do a a mean introduction <laughs> to the kid. That would be hilarious. I do need you to introduce yourself though, please. All right. Hey, what's up? That was it? What's she gonna do now? What's she gonna do? Okay, it looks like they're gonna sit together. They're just talking. Hit the towel, Felitas. You threw ya. 
What is she doing? Tell story? Aww. That's so sweet. Look at all this food! <laughs> Holy crap. Ren, come say what's up to Alexander. Thank him for coming. Party's still going on and we're at gold. Yeah! That's what's up. So, pancakes? Really? Pancakes? French toast, fish, more fish. Oh my gosh, Zara and April don't even know each other. Okay, what? That doesn't make any sense. Let's just do a rude introduction so that they know each other at least. Oof, poor girl has such a bad breakout. Um, hi. <laughs> I could imagine that they wouldn't like each other very much, but they tolerate. Oh, and now April's being nice. Ooh! Okay, she's yelling at her. Tell a gross joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. That's good. I think um, Ren needs to get to know the baby as well. You know, not a lot happened. I thought more would happen, but it looks like the teenagers went to bed. These kids are still left out here. I'm gonna end their gatherings. Oh, Olive didn't even have a gathering going. That's why Simone Orange or Tane didn't come, or Christy. I could have sworn I clicked start gathering. With Ren too, I could have sworn I clicked start gathering. That's annoying. Zara, why don't you come say hi to your mom? Thank her for coming. Thank your dad for coming too. It's almost over, so look, we have a bunch of leftovers, which I'm stoked about. All right, I think it's time to end. We got the gold. Go ahead, turn that off, turn that off. Why don't you eat this French toast? Ask Zara about the party if she had fun. Oh, duh, he kissed her on the cheek. It's just... This has never happened to me before. Like, after I tell a sim to just be friends, they're just friends. Like, they don't do anything romantic anymore. It just doesn't happen. But with Max, it's like... The boy just can't help it, I guess. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Oh, fun times. All right, guys, I have been recording for so long. Oh my gosh. I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.